Hello friends, welcome to ASP.NET tutorial. In this video, we will see how to read as well as write session cookie. In the last video, we learned about the basics of cookies and how browser will request the client machine to store the cookie. And then we saw how the client machine will send back the cookie information to the browser on the subsequent request. Now let's uh, get into the action. Here if you look at the example, we are going to set here cookie information here, here and when you click set, the client will store the uh, cookie information. right? And afterwards, when you click on get session cookie, we can see how the cookie information is retrieved. So, if you look at here, there are multiple request response, right? So, first time the page will be displayed based on the first web request. Then, when you click on this set, the handler for set is inside the web browser, right? So web browser will send the uh, request for storing the cookie as part of the response object. And in the subsequent, we know that client browser will send back the cookie information so that it is available for the web browser. And in the click event of this second button, we will examine the uh, cookie information sent back to the browser. So you will get more info when we proceed with this uh, video. To create cookie on the client machine, web server uses cookies collection on the response object. Here if you see, we are talking about cookie collection and that is tied to the response object. Client browser, while receiving the response, knows it should store the cookies internally. All right? So the client browser sees the or examines the cookies collection and when there are objects in the cookies collection, it knows that the request is from the server and as part of response object, it populated the cookies collection and now I need to store that internally. When browser sending the next request to the same web server, it packs all the server owned cookies in the request object. We already saw that, right? So, web server, right? Web server 2. There may be multiple web server also, and when using the browser, right, you can browse any website. And if you see here in the disk space, you may store information that belongs to web server 1 and web server 2. Right? So there may be multiple information also. So when it is sending back the second request, it knows that as part of a previous uh, response from the web server, I stored four cookie information. So it sends all those four cookie information back to the web server on request 2. Server can use the cookies collection in the request object and acts accordingly. So, if you see here, we are talking about two objects, right? As part of a response object, we will be having the cookies collection. Right? Similarly, when request goes, as part of the request object, browser will examine the same cookies collection. Right, same object moving back and forth. 
right cookies collection as part of response the collection goes to the browser and as part of the subsequent records to the same collection comes back to the web server session cookies leaves till the connection with the browser session is alive and cookies die when browser closes right that's what called session cookies we call this as a session cookie because when a browser is opened there may be multiple requests that is going back and forth towards the web server right say for example you are browsing the or you are logging into the uh, gmail you will give your username and password right that will be the second request asking the uh, gmail web page is the first request the second request is providing your username and password the third request is composing the mail the fourth request is sending the email right and then you are closing the browser so we call this complete action as one session so in that session you logged into gmail and you composed the email and you sent it to your friend right and then you close the browser that's one session now if you look at here session cookies leaves till the connection with the web browser session is alive that means when session is closed the cookies will die if that is the case then the cookie is called session cookie persistent cookie live beyond browser session and live for days or even years that means when you close the browser and reopen it the browser still knows the cookies collection because it is persisted in the disk so it will send back the same information to the um, web server in this video we will see how to set session cookies now let's go to the demo now we will create a new project So here we are choosing the MT project. Now we will add a new web form. Visual CS web web form and we will name this web form as cookie 01 read write cookie so inside this div So, um, if you see inside the div, we placed some control. First one is the label control, the entire session cookie, right? The second one is the text box, right? We named it as a txt sc cookie, right? The third one is the button, which will set the cookie. Then we have one more button and a uh, static label to show the information read from the cookie now we will handle this uh, set button click on the browser so here if you see this click event 
right when you double click or when you when user clicks this set button the event is handled in the web server right so request goes to the server then as part of the request this click event will be handled and when handling this click event if you see the server is making use of the response object and then here it is using the cookies collection it is a name value based collection here key what we are giving is session cookie right cookies collection and key is session cookie then we are accessing the value and value is the content of whatever you entered here so here if you see the server web server is packing the cookies collection with one single value right you can store up to 20 values for the cookie here here we have one key you can use 20 such keys all right here session cookie is the key and using that the server is requesting the client web browser to store the information entered in the text box right as part of the cookies all right now let's handle that gate section cookie value we know that when subsequent request that comes from the browser will pack the cookie information back to the browser so we need to check whether there is a valid cookie available in the cookies collection this time if you see here we are asking to write right using the response object we are requesting the browser to store the cookie here if you see in this second click event we are making use of the request object assuming that this is a subsequent request we are making use of request and we know that the cookies collection will have the uh, cookie information stored so request.cookies key we know right because the web server only asking to store the cookie information so it knows the key so using the key it is checking whether there is any cookie information stored in the client browser so if it is not null then we are retrieving the value right the same way how we stored the value we are retrieving it and displaying that in the label this is the label right and if the information is not there then we are stating that cookie not found right so this happens in two situation say for example the client requested the page for the first time right so when it is requested the information for the first time we may not be having the uh, cookie stored in the browser right so if user directly clicks the get session cookie they won't see any cookie value because the cookie is stored here as part of the set button right through re response object browse web server is asking web browser to store the cookie right in this set button click so when you directly click here you will not be having the valid cookie and you will end up into null thereby setting cookie not found or if browser session is closed that time also we will get uh, this uh, cookie not found let's see that with the action so that you will come to know let me copy this address and close this session and let it be in debug mode and i will start a new amazon i mean the edge web browser session and run it so 
this is the first request right the first request is get or display this web page so at this stage there is no cookie information stored in the web browser now if i ask to get session cookie value we will see cookie not found because no cookie is stored now i made one request right i mean the, clicking this it will be the second request now as part of third request in this time i am having session cookie and clicking this it right when i click set the request goes to the web server and in the web server click event handler in the response object we are storing this cookie information that will be sent back to the browser and browser will store this cookie information now when i click set the information is stored in the web browser right and when i say get session cookie value as part of the request the browser will send the stored the send the stored cookie information and web server can access it using the request object right first time it is a response next time it is request response is packed by the web browser request i mean packed by the web server and request is packed by the web browser now if you see session cookie is retrieved and if i have see the browser session is not closed i am into different tab you can see session cookie is retrieved right right now let me use some other web browser this time here i am using the google chrome web browser if you see cookie not found i am getting because cookies are browser specific we already saw that right right that's all here in this video thank you for watching bye